Hey, welcome back to our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. Well, yard sales season's in full swing here in North Georgia. And this weekend, if you can believe it, I bought five truckloads of stuff. Most of it furniture, most of it stuff that was banged up and needs to be touched up and sold on. Some of the stuff's already gone. But today, I wanted to bring you along as we deal with this table. This table doesn't have a brand uh, stamped on it. It's stamped for Walter of Wabash, which my understanding was the company that made the mechanism for the Leafs. But it is a solid cherry colonial style table with four solid cherry chairs and a solid cherry uh, leaf. I picked this up for, believe it or not, $30.00. A woman was moving and it had been for sale for two days. Nobody wanted it. That'll give you some idea how well Colonial Furniture sells here in North Georgia. But what we're going to do is a quick touch up to make this both more attractive and more serviceable to the new owner. And then it's going up to the consignment shop where it'll have its best chance of uh, getting sold and uh, getting sold for a fairly decent price. This will probably bring $250 to $275. Uh, at the consignment store, I'll pay a 40% commission, so that'll give you some idea of what I'm looking at on a profit margin with a $30 investment. So we've got to get this top straightened around. We got to do it quick, and we got to do it relatively inexpensively. It did have some major blushing issues on it, from where someone had set like a hot pot on it, or maybe a hot pizza box or something. But I sprayed it with a little bit of um, uh, blush remover. And it did exactly what it's supposed to do. It softens the lacquer, it lets that moisture come out, and then it rehardens, and those blushes are gone. So I will bring you in, show you what we're dealing with, and we will get this done. So stick with it. And here we are, close up of the table, and you can see it's got loads of scratches and dings and dirt and paint marks. But the finish is intact. There's no place where the finish is, is compromised. So what we're going to do is give this a good cleaning, a light sanding, a glazing, and a new top coat. And this top is going to look very, very good. And the first step is a cleaning. I've mixed up a solution of Dawn dishwashing detergent and crud cutter. You can use TSP. You can use a commercial cleaner. Whatever you want. We just want to make sure we get all the dirt and any oils and waxes off this before we start to work with it. Keep in mind, we're going to spray a coat of uh, lacquer over top of this when it's done. We want to make sure we don't have any silicone contamination if we can help it. So a lot of what we're going to be using are going to be oil solvents to make sure that we get this as clean as possible. So here we go. And the cleaning's all done, and the cleaning has revealed some spots of blushing on the table leaf. And what we're going to do is take care of that later uh, with some blush remover. I could do it now, but the table would have to thoroughly dry. I have to blush remover, wait about 10 or 15 minutes, and move on. What I'm going to do is wet sand, get all the water type stuff done, and then I'll take care of these blushes right before we... Uh, we put on our glaze and our top coat. So the next step is to uh, wet sand this. Alrighty, I've got uh, 320 wet dry on my air sander. You don't need to use an air sander, you can use whatever you have. And I've got some mineral spirits. I'm going to use mineral spirits instead of water only to give me a little bit of an insurance policy on getting off any of that uh, wax or oil that we're worried about. I'm just going to light sand this and try to take off as much of the uh, any of the scuffs, the dirt, the paint, and bring some of them scratches down. So here we go. Okay, this one section here has been wet sanded. You can see what we're shooting for. We're not trying to get the top coat off. Certainly not trying to get it off because we want to preserve the color. We're just trying to flatten the very top of the top coat to prepare it for some refreshing. So we've gone from this to this in about uh, two and a half minutes of wet sanding with 320. And the wet sanding's revealed a couple of really deep uh, gouges in this table that I want to fill before we continue. What you see back here is just uh, sanding cuttings, they just wipe right off. 
So what we're going to do is use the super glue technique I showed you in our very last video. I use this glue boost only because I have it. I believe you can use any kind of uh, cyanoacrylate glue. And basically we're just going to fill that crack with uh, the glue boost using this micro pipette. We'll run it down in here, overfilling it, and then level it with a razor blade that has scotch tape on either side of the cutting edge. So the only thing that we're going to be taking off is the material that's proud of the surface. So let me get to it. Once you've got your scratch overfilled, I just you just hit it with this accelerator. And then using our razor blade as a scraper. And it's going to be hard for me to do this without getting my hand in your way. We're just going to scrape off the excess. Start leveling that repair. And you can see how that's now been filled to the top. The same level as this. We don't have a gouge anymore. Now we just have this that needs to be polished up. Okay, ready to move on to the next step, which is sanding. Now for this repair, because the whole tabletop is going to get top coated, I don't have to be too particular about spot sanding it. All right, there we go. Moving on. And we have some areas where there's no color. So I'm just taking some burnt sienna in a touch-up marker and wiping it on and rubbing it out. Okay, we're about an hour into this project and the tabletop has been cleaned. It's been sanded. We've filled in any of the deep uh, gouges and grooves. So now we're going to lay a little bit of color on it. I've mixed some uh, burnt umber glaze with some naphtha to give us a nice thin coat. And we're going to put that on there. We're going to let the glaze settle into all the little scratches and help color them out. So here we go. Now we're going to dry brush off the glaze. I'm using a rag to wipe off the majority of it. I'm using a light touch. Okay, now with the grain, we brush it up. Because I've got the naphtha in this, it's flashing off and drying very quickly. Okay, there it is with the glaze coat on. Let's give it a little time to set up and we'll come back in and shoot it with top coat of lacquer and see how we did. And the third coat of lacquer is on, and you can see we got a pretty nice finish. This is the area that we had that real big gouge in. That's, uh, it's still there. You can still see it from the side, but barely. Let me take you and give you a... And here's the table in raking light. And as we said before, it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Not for what we're doing here. So that's a, a way that you can restore or refresh the finish of the table, as long as in this case it was a lacquer coat. If it was polyurethane or varnish, you have to do it a little bit differently. But anyways, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. From our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. Best regards. Thanks for watching. Take good care, and remember, it's just wood color and some shiny stuff.
you next video. Bye.